Okay, so we're going to put rotation in now. Um, and we're going to take the cogs, which we did before in standing, and we're going to take it into a split stance. So whichever side we decided during the assessments is the foot you're going to put forwards, but for today I'm going to put the left foot forwards. Legs on railway tracks, so they're both parallel, um, just about shoulder width apart, and we're going to look at how we can rotate the body. So, to start with, just let the weight come forwards, bend the left knee, let the pelvis travel forward so the weight's into that left leg. And we want to keep all the joints stacked up so we don't want to be leaning forwards or leaning back for this one, so just let it all move together. Now, as we start to put some rotation in, we're going to take the left hand, rotate it around. So that hand's just going to allow us to get that movement through the spine. You can see my ribcage starting to rotate to the left there. Now one thing to be careful of, as you do that, I don't want you to let the ball of your little toe, which is this bit just in here, come off the floor. So the difference between those two is, without it coming off the floor, I want to look at my pelvis here. And then as I let it come off the floor, you can see that my pelvis starts to follow the ribcage round, which is what we don't want. So keep the ball of that little toe on the floor, and then we get that opposition. So the pelvis is being delayed round this way, the ribcage is being driven round to the left, and the head just stays looking straight forwards.